What's up, Wayne Baron here with DarkEffects.net, and we are inside of Adobe Illustrator, and this is lesson two of my beginning Adobe Illustrator. And what we're going to be doing here is something that I thought was really cool and I wanted to share with everybody, and that is this. Say that we come over here, type in some text, Dark Effects, capital E. Okay, and let's make our text a little bit bigger so that we can actually see it. Now, what I want to do is that I want to make my D and my E larger, but keep the same text. I don't want to add in a new text layer in order to have a larger letter. And so what we do is that we, if you notice, whenever we added in our new toolbar in Lesson 1, we didn't get all the options that come with it. Now that I see as an annoyance. And so I, if, if you're gonna be able to create shortcuts uh, or new toolbars, then you should be able to add in all of the sub uh, categories that come with each one of the tools or the sub tools. And so we gotta come back over here to Window, Tools, Default. Went over to Default, we come over here, right click, come down to Touch Type Tool. Now grab a hold of the Touch Type Tool, and let's drag it over here right up underneath our Text Tool. Close back out of that, and now with our Touch Type Tool selected, let's come over here and click on our D. Now what we wanna do, if you hold down Shift, then, well actually, holding down Shift doesn't do anything at all like it does in other programs. What you can do is that you can actually make it bigger and still keep the same uh, text layer. So then we come over here, we choose the E, and then we make it bigger as well. And see, we are at one, let's do 148, what are you? Let's come down to 148, okay, basically they're almost the same. And so that right there is a really, really cool feature, and that way you can add in um, different things into your project without having to add in different layers. And in this way, you can customize completely your text layout without having to deal with multiple layers. Like in older versions, we would have to do a single layer for our D and then a layer for ARK and then another layer for E and then another layer for FFECTS. And so this right here just makes everything a lot simpler, a lot easier, and it just really, really works very, very well. You can also come over here and you can select the item and you can actually change the color. And so you can come over here and we can work with... Uh, the color so we can change the uh, color from that and then let's come over here we can change that to red and see you can not only change the size of text but you can change its color and you can also change just all different things about it let's say that you want to drag the opacity down that way it sort of adds in a little bit of mystique into your your project a little bit and so it's just all sorts of things you can even change the font color so we can come over here and come up and one that I always use a lot which is metal macabre so we can add in a different font uh, along with anything else that we want to do or need to do for that text Okay, Wayne Barron here with DarkFlakes.net for lesson number two for Adobe Illustrated Creative Cloud. Y'all have a good one now. Bye-bye.